Good morning. Good morning. Make a shed update. Make a shed update. This has just arrived. This has just arrived. No, no. This is the state. This is the state. State of the garden. State of now. The garden. It's starting to reveal a little bit more grass. I'm planning to build a ramp up here to uh, walk up, put bikes up. So. That's one thing to add. Well, I'm calling it built. Still got lots and bits and pieces to put in, shelving, etc. Let's get the lights on. I mentioned we did want to put down some vinyl flooring, which will mean obviously I'll have to empty the entire thing out to put it down. But, ooh, another day for that, another day. Oh. Oh, just, this has just just arrived. So I've got some rubber mat in, so I'm going to put that down in front of the door, so that but will to work on protect the rubber floor, the vinyl floor in when I've got some. Um, I've got three shelving units coming later this week, so I'm thinking we're going to have one there, maybe two, two here, one side by side, um, another one over here. Uh, I've got f four pedal cycles to put in, so I've got some hooks that will mount them vertically up there. Um, this area is going to have my brewery, so this bit of leftover flooring board I'm going to use to make some shelves, put that on. So I've got all of the uh, stainless steel items for that. That should go in that corner, uh, hence all of the extra sockets. So the sockets are all wired in now, uh, consumer units wired in and tested. Thank you to my electrician friend. Um, so I moved this bit of bench that's been in the garden for the last three months up to here last night. Uh, so yeah, I'm just moving everything around to try and make some space. Probably still need to throw some stuff away. Um, and oh, the lights, still waiting on this one. Uh, the last light out of the box just didn't switch on, uh, but I've contacted the supplier. He said he'll uh, sort it out. So they were you know, a reputable company. They said they've got five year warranty and stuff. So I'm expecting another one of those should just plug in. I've upcycled the pallet that the uh, aggregate and cement came on. I uh, saw something online to do that, so I've got uh, all my tools there. Got a load of leftover OSB board. I had exactly the right amount of sheets to board the walls with, but these are the offcuts. Um, so hopefully we'll repurpose some of those for some shelving, put something at high level. Um, I've got four spare wheels, wet wheels for motorbikes to hang up somewhere, so I think I'm going to put some studded rod in up high up so I can hang those up. Uh, got my welder and compressor there. I'm thinking I might actually move those over to that wall and use this space for some shelving. So the only places that aren't really insulated are the uh, windows and uh, the, these doors. Um, so you can see there's gap right through there so I think I'm going to take some of this spare insulation I board board I've got there and once I've got the doors painted I'm going to stick those on the back there and seal them up some bit of the drafts and um, insulate a bit more um, I've got to uh, elect one of those diesel heaters uh, 12 volt diesel heaters arriving today uh, I haven't really decided where best to put that um, but that's another big job to do so Structurally, I say it's built, but we're not going to cut the cut the tape and do the grand opening just yet. Mega shout out.